yesterday which was Monday um, and had a great clinic exciting news I forgot to tell you guys I, I don't know if you recall I um, submitted a grant a while back well I was accepted and awarded the grant so that's exciting um, so yay um, but anyways um, today I um, have the bee in my bonnet if you will you will know, recall I uh, fell into the Costco chia seed trap of death wherein you have a lifetime supply of these little buggers um, and I'm kind of motivated to use them up. And so today I think I'm going to make a chia seed strawberry jam because I have um, at my Kroger this week, um, strawberries were uh, 98 cents. I've just chopped up roughly six strawberries, just kind of loosely and put them in my little blender bottle. And then last night, oh my word guys, check this out. I took half a cup of chia seeds and two cups of water to pre-soak. I just one of you all had mentioned that you pre-soak your chia seeds. I thought that might make it easier. Um, and it's like cement. <laughs> so I'm gonna take um, half of this and put it in here with a little bit more water. Um, here are the chia seeds, for those of you who are wondering. And then I'm just gonna sweeten it with um, a couple of packets of this wholesome stevia um, that I've been using that I really enjoy. Um, and then I'm gonna use my sweet drops and the berry flavor from my Vitacost haul. So um, I have had these several times and they're quite good. Um, Oh no, just, um, they taste a little bit like, have you ever had berry kicks? They taste like that. They have that kind of berry flavor. It's good, but it's not like, it's not like real fruit. I'm gonna just puree all that stuff up together. And then, um, also at Kroger this week, and on my bottle they had, um, I bought, I had a rebate on ball, on the, these special ball jars. Aren't these cute? Um, for jams and stuff. So I got these, um, to store, um, like to store food in as well as to uh, store uh, the chia seeds in because I've got tons of the size of ball jars that I use. I keep my lentils in here things that I need a small smaller jars to store. So I'm glad I have these, but they're really cute. And I think they're really pretty to give as gifts to people because you they have this nice neck that you can tie a pretty ribbon around. So that I'm excited about. So yeah, I'm just gonna get to ninjing. <laughs> Now I'm just going to add about uh, 10 drops of the sweet leaf. So I just poured it into the container, but let's taste it out. Oh, it's really good, guys. It tastes like like um, those Luigi's strawberry ices, only not cold. Um, it's really good. Ooh, I really like that. And uh, look how pretty it is. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge and have it to top my cauliflower oats and what have you with. So using up my chia seeds. I don't know how long this will be good for in the refrigerator. So um, I, uh, you know, may have to pop. I may have to go through it fairly quickly. But I can be creative with adding this to things. But now I'm just gonna whip up a uh, bowl of my cauliflower oats and um, I'm gonna make them similarly to how I did uh, in my video, um, in my recipe video. Um, but I use this organic cauliflower rice that I get from Costco by Taylor Farms. Um, and so I've just, these bowls guys, I got these at Kmart. These I got at Kmart in my very first, when I first moved out of my parents' house. Um, and I still use them and love them. They're the Martha Stewart um, Everyday um, Dishwasher Safe Bowls. And I have a plate, I have plates and bowls. And it was a set that I got at Kmart. So yeah, I just add, um, I'm gonna do about half a cup of rice cauliflower today. 
it adds a little bit more volume, fiber, and potentially vitamin and vitamins. So what I do is I just put half a cup of the rice cauliflower, and then I'm going to sprinkle on some ginger onto the cauliflower, and then I'm just going to add about half a cup, roughly, of water to this, and then I just microwave this for approximately uh, two and a half for two and a half minutes on high just to steam cook the cauliflower so the cauliflower rice just came out of the microwave and what I've done it looks a little gross um, I just added um, one packet of the stevia and I added a tablespoon of this is actually cacao powder um, I get my cacao on Vitacost and I love it I think it's fantastic and then I'm gonna add a serving of rolled just regular plain rolled oats um, I'm obsessed with rolled oats honestly they're like one of the cheapest foods known to man I think like they're like literally pennies a serving. And then I'm gonna add a serving of the Vitacost Root Squared Pea Protein Powder. I'm really enjoying this, guys, as an update. I've used their um, pea protein concentrate in the past, and this is, I guess, the pea protein isolate. Please don't ask me to elaborate on what the differences are. I have no idea on how they extract protein from a pea to begin with. In my opinion, this tastes identical to the uh, concentrate one that they have, but this is a, but I'm really liking it. It's got, 15 grams of protein in one serving, so. Um, so I'm just gonna add the oatmeal and cook this down in the microwave and I'll show you when it's done. Ta-da! So I've got my uh, cacao cauliflower oats and then <laughs> I've really been enjoying topping them with a little sprinkling of the Golden Goddess Chocolate Elixir with turmeric. This is totally um, a topping kind of thing. This stuff is so good as a topping, especially. Um, it makes a great beverage. This kind of looks, I don't know, sort of like a sad little heart. I did not intend to do that, but I think it with a little bit more... Um, with a little bit more effort, I probably could have made this actually look like a heart. Strawberry chia seed jam. And then I also took uh, and then I also took a scoop of it and added, added it to my water. Um, and it, it's great as a berry uh, refresher. So so yeah, guys, I'm going to have that and uh, get some work done. And I'll check in with you guys later. And boom. Hey guys, so it's afternoon and while I was working, um, I took it upon myself to make up some of my Vitacost red lentils, add mixed in with some split green peas. I just, um, you know, you don't need to pre-soak these, but I um, do just for a little while, just to kind of uh, rinse them off. I changed the water a few times. And then I add them to a pot of water and bring the water to a boil and then reduce to a simmer. And they cook up in about 20 minutes um, really easily, no, no hands-on work. And then I just drain them and I store them in this glass Pyrex bowl. And basically I've got lentils and split peas here now that I can use in my lunch tomorrow when I go back to work and that I can have for dinner tonight. I'm gonna make a, another one of those crock pot veggie soups and add some lentils today instead of, I think last time I added chickpeas, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a little walk just to kind of get out since today is a holiday, just kind of see if, if anything's going on in the hood. This guy's got a uh, American flag bathing suit. <laughs> Festive. Hey guys, I'm over here at Pier One. They're open today. And look how cute these are. They're little punch buggy uh, coasters. They're so cute. These are um, on clearance here for $2.98. They have yellow and blue. I guess they're cars, but they look like punch buggies or Volkswagen Beetles. We had one of these when I was a child. We had an orange one. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these guys. These are on sale for 10 bucks, originally 20. Okay, I just have to verbalize to you guys a pet peeve of mine with businesses. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, and my pet peeve is this. So whenever there's a like national holiday or a holiday, businesses close, right? I mean, that's just the way it is. I, one thing I cannot stand, a personal pet peeve, is when they put on their sign, in honor of the holidays, to give our employees more time with our families, more time with their families. We'll be closing an hour earlier. I'm like, 
No, 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 no. You do not care two wits about your employees. I know exactly what that's about. You're closing an hour early because nobody's gonna be out shopping during those hours. You're gonna lose money having to pay the employees to physically be there. And as far as any benefit to the employees, like, who are you kidding? To give our employees time to spend with their families on the holiday, it's like, no, 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 no. We're gonna lose money and we don't wanna pay our employees to be here an extra hour, so we're sending them home. <laughs> Yes, I'm reapplying my sunscreen in Pier 1. So I'm over here in CVS by the 360 sheet masks, and I saw this thinking, oh, I wonder if this is like a drugstore version of those Momotani ones. And then I say, oh, no, no, no. They can't just make a simple hydrating mask with, I don't know, water and moisturizer. They have to put tomato extract in it. Do I look like a loaf of bread and a jar of mayonnaise? I don't want a tomato sandwich. I just want a hydration mask. Then they have this brightening radiance tissue facial mask that has salicylic acid in it, uh, which I think under occlusion could be quite irritating, honestly. Moringa seeds, again, like these jazzy ingredients, no role in skincare. No roll. Oh, this is interesting. Caviar. I do really enjoy this Dead Sea Mineral Mask, guys, because this is a bentonite mask for you oily, oily, shiny skin ones. Bentonite is the key ingredient here. I really like this one. It's only transient, however, but I like this one. And you can get it in the biggie size. However, do not put this on your face. The charcoal one, too aggressive. It is good, however. This one is, however, good on the bottoms of the feet. So if you happen to have this, don't put it on your feet. Put, if you happen to, if you happen to have purchased this, don't put it on your face. Put it on your feet. And you'll remember I tried these out, and I'm not a fan. These are the simple micellar cleansing, simple cleansing facial wipes to remove waterproof mascara. They're not very good. And if you use these, please wash your face afterwards. They have um, things that should not be left on the skin, in my opinion. Um, however, um, do any of you guys use the foaming cleanser? This looks like a pretty good one. To comment below. This moisturizing facial wash looks like a good one too. Um, it doesn't have any fragrance in it, but it's a tiny little bottle. Oh snap, guys, they got some new uh, Korean skincare masks in here. Um, lover recipe. Okay, I am intrigued. How sweet is the packaging on this? Sally's box? Okay. Ingredient wise, grapefruit extract. I'm never really too jazzed to see that. Ooh, what's this delight collagen hydrogel mask cover? I want you to be happy. Me too. Me too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Should we do this tonight, guys? What's it got in it? Anything that's going to no oh, spearmint extract. No. No. Lavender extract. No. <sighs> Sally. Don't be a Sally, Sally. Paper Popo, lover recipe, acai berry. All right, how about Manifetti? Cucumber soothing, moisturizing. Let's check him out. Why do they love to put grapefruit extract in all of these things and lime extract? Has anybody? I feel like these people need to go to a chap, a dermatology textbook and just look up Lyme phytophotodermatitis and maybe then they would stop putting Lyme extract in everything. I mean, it's like, you should not daub that into the skin. Let's see. What's in lily whitening, brightening? Again, lime fruit, okay. Manifetti, no, no, no. Are you supposed to do this before the lover recipe comes on? <laughs> Blueberry fruit extract. What is that? So you can be like that gal in uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? <laughs> Lord. It's, um, it's not cool. It's just not cool. So, yeah, this box was another dud. And... Ah. Well, hey, guys. So I just got back from my little jaunt, and I'm having a little... Uh, Rose hip iced tea with a few drops of the berry sweet, uh, sweet leaf berry drops. Oh, 
Ooh, that is delightful, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I'm gonna brew up another batch, so I've got it incubating. So you may have noticed in my morning skincare routine today, I washed my face uh, with this salicylic acid cleanser by Alba Botanica. And I mentioned this in my cruelty-free skincare products that I, I like. Um, and I do enjoy this product quite a bit. I have been using it primarily um, testing in the waters with it, <laughs> literally, in my shower to my um, kind of acne prone areas on the back and upper chest area and really enjoying it in that manner. I tested it out, I've been testing it out also on my face and I enjoy it, but I will caution you um, that while this is fragrance free, it's um, misleading because it does have that devil peppermint fruit extract and it's also got, um, you know, it's not entirely, it says free of synthetic fragrances, which is incredibly misleading uh, because it has limonene and lim lim limonene, excuse me, and linalool, um, which are components of fragrance mix. So this does, in fact, have fragrance in it. And um, likewise, it's got orange peel oil in it. Again, I don't know why skincare companies are putting all of these fruit oils and things. I suppose maybe they're cheap to produce. Uh, I suppose maybe they're inexpensive to, to use, and that is why everything ultimately comes down to cost. The good point, the good thing about it is, is that it's a wash, so at any rate, it's not intended to be left on the skin. I think you would really be, uh, uh, up the creek, so to speak, if you left this on the surface of the skin and went about your day. You know, as I've said on here before, just because things are natural does not mean they're safe and or effective. So, caution you that. And you know, I mean, I know that this irritates folks, the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash, but it has far fewer ingredients in it that are likely to be um, irritating to you. So, um, you know, I know I, I'm, I'm really on an active pursuit to find good cruelty-free skin care, and this is the best 2% salicylic acid wash that I've found so far, but um, well, the pursuit will continue. So yeah, I'm, I'm really still on a mission here, but so far this is the best one that I've got. But anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.